Yo, I'm a savant. I feel like I'm getting brain freeze from the outside of my head. Hey, you know, I'll get a little too right going on. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy and welcome back to another video. Today we're bringing back an old series we used to do where we buy all the products that have been recommended to us by a given website or app. And today's site is TikTok. As most of you guys probably know, TikTok is well known for the music and the dancing and the singing and that aspect of the app and some comedy as well. But also there is this new side of TikTok that's been popping up that I noticed recently, which is more in line with what we do that involves doing product reviews reviews, unboxings, and different things like that. So what I did is I went on TikTok and I checked out the hashtag for retail therapy and all of the products that were recommended to me outside of beauty products I purchased. We've got some interesting stuff to go through today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what our first item is. Okay, we've got the Easy Peel Garlic Peeler. It's like basically just a little circle. I think you put garlic in it, you roll it, and it peels it off. Honestly, huge pain when you have garlic, so this could be a major life hack. So this is our little food segment. We've got the Good Grips 3-in-1 Avocado Slicer. If you guys know me, I'm well known for my efficiency with the avocado in my hand, and normally I just use a knife. I don't need one of these, but today we're gonna test it out and see if it's any better. So uh, I guess it's time to head to my kitchen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the It's Your Kitchen. Today we're gonna be testing out our two new TikTok food-related devices that we purchased. We've got our uh, garlic clove D whatever, I don't know what it actually is called, and we've got our avocado slicer. So first off, let's check out the garlic and see how well it works. Yo, I'm a savant. I, I don't even need it. You see that? I just pulled it out from the clove completely clean. That's a little unrealistic. Let's try this again. Okay, so we've got we've got two here. Let's see if two works. Okay, so basically we put it inside here. As you guys can see, hopefully it is, uh, it's not like fully covered, but it's covered enough. And then you just roll it. And apparently it just takes the layer right oh it just popped out the side oh my god it did it perfectly that's that's a life hack ladies and gentlemen this is actually like if, if you're not a savant like your boy and you take it out and it's super easy this is a huge huge pain and i just did it in like literally no time at all first tiktok item not bad not bad now let's move on to our avocado slicer i personally don't really need one of these like i said i'm a savant also when it comes to slicing avocados i'm just a savant in general i think but we'll see if this one's any better we've got our avocado here there's three separate tools one to slice the avocado open and then one to uh, slice up the actual avocado on the inside this is a nice ripe avocado I'm probably gonna eat this <laughs> you know those ones okay slice worked pretty well next we take the little core and then we press pitter blade into the pit okay press it in and tw okay honestly that was pretty smooth that was very very smooth i normally just hit a nice chop and then twist with a knife but this was a little cleaner because sometimes depending on how hard the avocado is it doesn't quite work perfectly and this worked like beyond perfectly lastly maybe you want to make a little guacamole you want to make some avocado toast you got to get that nice good stuff out of the inside here so we're going to use this tool and see how that works i'm thinking we start at the thick part Okay, maybe, I, I don't know if I messed that up, but that did not go as planned. It looks like they push it in through the top here and then start to kind of pull. Oh, okay. I can see that, that working. It's not quite as intuitive as the other one. To be honest, I prefer my technique better. I just take the knife, slice it, and then squish them all out. It does kind of work. Overall, do I think this is necessary for me? No, but it is an added convenience. I Compared to this though, I would say of the two kitchen items we got today though, I'm definitely going with the garlic thingy, whatever this is. Back to the unboxing. All right, next item. What else do we have recommended to us from TikTok? Oh my God. We have a foot exfoliation peeling mask. So here's the TikTok. Apparently this is what's gonna happen to me. I am i don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna test it out. I've never done anything like this before. Now it's time to head to my bathroom. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for probably the weirdest thing we've got. Well, maybe not the weirdest, but one of the weirder items we got, and that is a foot exfoliation mask. Here it is. Uh, so you open it up. When 90% of your audience is males and you're doing a foot exfoliation mask. I know a lot of you guys are not here for this kind of thing. And to be honest, I'm not either. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, so do I just pour it in? I feel like this is something some girl with like already perfectly clean hygienic feet would do. 
Oh God, this is disgusting. 80 to 100 minutes? <laughs> what? An hour and a half in this thing? Okay, so I guess I just leave this on. How do you, like, how do you, what do you do for 80 to 100 minutes? This and when girls do their nails and they just can't touch anything for an hour, I'm, I'll never understand it. But um, today I'm gonna experience it and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, it's been like an hour since I've had this on my foot, maybe longer to be honest. I kind of lost track of time. So I guess it's time to take it off. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see this. Basically, my foot just looks like it's covered in soap. Apparently, I'm supposed to wait a day or two, and then it's just gonna, like, skin's gonna fall off. I don't know. This seems so weird. But for now, I'm just gonna live the rest of my life, and I'll update you guys in a few days if my foot went full snake and just started shedding. Okay, guys, it's been a few days since I did my weird foot peel mask thing, and I don't know if I should show you my foot, because, like, I don't know if that's gross. Some people are weird out by it, but anyways, foot's normal is the... My foot's normal. Just a quick glance. See, normal, nothing. You want to pause on it, you can, you weirdos. Point is, it, it's normal. It's not peeling. Nothing happened. I guess it didn't really work. It just cleaned my foot. I don't know. Okay, this one is actually one of the items I'm most hyped about. The thing is, I don't know if it's going to work in my car, but... I'm gonna try it. So this is the item, the TikTok's playing right here. Basically, it is a plug-in device that you put in your car to give you the vibe like you've got a Rolls Royce star-studded ceiling in your car for a, a fraction of the price. A fra not even a fraction. I don't even know if there's a word to describe how much less this is than an actual Rolls Royce with stars on the roof. But let's go test it out and see how it looks. All right, guys, we hooked it up. Looks just like a laser pointer. Oh, it's on my face. You, can, you guys can see it's on my face. Unfortunately, uh, well, not unfortunately. It's kind of a dope vibe. But as you can see, we have like these kind of windows at the top of my Tesla. So you can't, it doesn't really work like a real Rolls Royce vibe. But you can envision if this was not windows. Like here, look. See, it's kind of wavy. We even have some right there in the middle. So imagine that just like all the way across for, I don't remember how much we paid, but let's say like six bucks. Pretty big vibe. Okay, next item. We've got the ice roller. Freeze it, roll it, enjoy it. So I think you put this in your fridge. You can roll it on feet. I guess this is kind of a beauty product, but it, it looked interesting. Roll it on your feet, your legs, anywhere you want. I don't know if you should roll it anywhere you want, but anyways, so I think you put it in the freezer. This could be a vibe on a hot day. Do not use on wounded skin tissue store in a cool place do not heat this product so we put it in the freezer or the fridge take it out rub it on your face especially on a hot day it's already kind of cold i'm not gonna lie when i purchased this i was a little bit skeptical about how good it was actually gonna be or why somebody would have something like this but i'm starting to see potential value i'm gonna put this in the fridge and test it out okay guys i left this in the fridge here at the office for two days and we're gonna test it out now oh my god it's freezing oh I'm not hot at all, so I feel like this isn't really a vibe right now, but yo, I feel like I'm getting brain freeze from the outside of my head. Okay, I feel like I'm not using this in the proper circumstances. Maybe if this was a really hot day, I was outside, I was boiling, this would feel better. But honestly, it's so cold. I feel like it also might feel worse, but it does do what it says. And I, I could see why someone would use this and why it would come in handy. Okay, next item. Oh my God. Okay, we've got the rapid egg cooker eat good feel good it's called from dash unprocess your food get cooking good looking thank you they did that one specially for me so this is it this is our little egg cooker to be honest i've seen some of you guys in the comments you're talking about how i look like I'm, I'm getting skinny in not a good way and you're right okay i've been not eating enough during quarantine it's been harder things have been difficult but i gotta get back into shape start working out again start eating better and maybe this will help me out i think this is just for hard boiled eggs which to be honest i'm not really a big fan of oh there's an omelet bowl that's kind of a vibe so you can either cook omelets or hard boiled eggs you can set up six pop it on top we're good to go okay well time to head back to my kitchen and test out our egg cooker so it turns out we have more kitchen gadgets next up we have our uh what is it called an egg cooker uh basically we've got this little thing we poke a little hole in it oh that's a little tiny hole so we fill up the water they give you this nice little measuring cup we pour that in here where's my lid boom that appears to be it we just plug it in and see if it works I think it's ready. All right, let's see what happened to our eggs. They feel hard. To be honest, I don't eat hard boiled eggs, so I don't even really know what to do next. Okay, I realized probably a good idea. We can pick this up, bring it over here, wash it off. 
and begin peeling. Oh, it looks pretty legit. It's legit. I don't know what else to say. It works. If you love hard boiled eggs, this is great. Apparently there's an omelet function, but I don't really trust that to be honest. Let's uh, finish peeling this off. Hey, voila, we got a nice little rubbery hard boiled egg. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get people to eat these. Let me try this. Delicious. All right, let's head back to the unboxing. All right, we've got an extremely random array of items so far. This is the Kosha Ayu Ayurveda. No idea how to pronounce that. This is some nice little packaging right here. We've got this nice little bronze tongue scraper right here. I've definitely brushed my tongue at some point in my life. I've tried that out. I don't do it all the time, but I've done it. But this is taking it to a whole new level. You're not just brushing your tongue anymore, ladies and gentlemen. You're scraping your tongue. I guess I should uh, give it a shot. There's just spit all over this now. Something tells me this is something you should be doing in your bathroom as well, so let's go back to my bathroom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta get in the zone, so we're gonna pretend to brush, well, I'm gonna, semi, I'm gonna brush my teeth for a second, and then I'm gonna test out the tongue scraper. So I'll be like, hey, you know, I'll get a little tooth right going on. To finish things off, uh, hey, uh -huh. is this really, do like, I feel like it's just getting leftover Toothpaste. I don't know guys, this feels kind of bogus. I don't feel like there's really much going on here. If you guys know the truth about these things, let me know in the comment section. Are they actually beneficial for mouth hygiene? Comment down below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we found some very interesting products so far today. So please smash the like button if you wanna see a part two where we go back on TikTok and buy some more products or if there's any products you've seen on TikTok, tag me in them and I'll go check them out. This one is definitely <laughs> uh, the most interesting product that I found while searching through these uh, TikToks. That product's next. First, we have a, this is a steam generator and it is used in tandem with something else. This box got demolished. Steam generator that you use with this and a bunch of tubes here as well. Basically, you can create your own personal steam room wherever you are. It's a portable steam room. So if you wanna cut weight because you're an MMA fighter or you're just, you wanna sweat for whatever reason, then this is available for you. Now this thing was not cheap, okay? This was like 300 bucks, 400 bucks on Amazon. I'm really hoping that it's actually kind of useful. It might be rejuvenating. I like going into saunas and this is essentially just a sauna that I can now have in my office for what? It probably cost 10 grand to make a sauna room in here. Now 400 bucks, it's kind of a steal if you put it that way. So I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna test it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have completed the assembly of our mini sauna and um, I'm gonna test it out. Oh my God. <laughs> you zip this up, catch a vibe, and peep these. You got a little pot armholes. You even have a little thing for your phone. Boom, get a little cozy in here. I have no idea how long this is gonna take, so I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and see what happens. I don't know if I'm just imagining it, but it feels like it's getting warm in here. It's so hard to tell if it's just cause I'm like enclosed or if it's cause like actual sauna vibes are going on. Whew. This wouldn't just be from my body heat, would it? There's no way. Like, could you get, nah, I couldn't get this hot just from entrapping my body heat. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear, oh, that shit's boiling. Oh, it's about to get real hot. It's about to get real hot, I can tell. It's a sauna. This is actually a sauna. I'm tripping. TikTok made me buy a sauna. There's a fine line and I don't want to stay too long because I don't actually want to drench my clothes in sweat. I just want to like really see how hot it gets. So I'm going to stay a little bit longer, but it works. I will, I will confirm that this does indeed work. I feel very warm right now and I am starting to sweat. I think the top boiled off. Holy shit, it's hot. Oh my God, yo, yo, yo. The tube is hot, the, the, the top boiled off, it popped off the top and now it's not secured. I didn't secure it properly. Oh my God. Oh, you gotta rotate it once you get it in. Okay, okay. Let's bump it back up, get back inside. Now it should be more efficient. There's like a little canister inside that's holding the heat. Holy shit, it's getting hot now. This is legit. This is actually legit. I'm sweat up right now. This is wild. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Holy hell. Honestly, guys, I don't sweat a lot to begin with. So that's why I'm not actually like fully sweating, but I was getting a little dewy in there and it was getting very, very warm. And I only had it at five heat once I fixed it because the top wasn't properly secured on. If I'd left it at nine, like I initially had, I would have been melting inside there. I'm honestly like kind of worried. Oh my God. There's like full steam on the bottom of the chair. So it's like like wet under the chair with perspiration. But other than that, it, it's, it, it does do what it says and I'm pretty impressed. I don't know if I'll ever use this, but 
You know, TikTok made me do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles!